Hello everyone and welcome back to an episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and this time we got a risky character going, but we're going to give it a go. We got the Tainted Keeper. Tainted Keeper is always one that's like, he's incredibly strong and can be really good, but also the risk is kind of high. So it's 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 just one of those characters that you've got to be sort of careful with. Um, always a little risky, always a little scary, but like I said, a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to try and blow up the, uh, the Explodey Boy first, to be honest. I think that'll make life easier. There you go. Really? That was that was kind of a sketchy hit there, my guy. Extra money. Honestly, some money that we can leave on the floor is probably a good idea. Uh, I don't think that really helps us at all. Um, as for the question of the day today... Oh, not going to grab that penny. Um, as for the question of the day today... Like, what's a, what's a, like, a, a DIY skill? Like, something that, like, the, if you could, like, build something or, like, get hands-on with something, what's something you'd love to be able to do? I think, for me, I'd love to be able to, even though I don't want to drive and I'm not really into vehicles in terms of, like, looking at vehicles, just, like, in terms of the skill it takes, I'd love to be able to have the knowledge to be able to, like, make uh, a car. Like, not, not literally from scratch sort of thing, but as in, like, be able to put together a car and actually have it function that would be i feel like that would be like one of those things where you just feel like a magician after being able to do something like that it'd be wild right take things out one at a time that was crazy that i managed to get that without getting hit one at a time okay we've got good money now uh obviously our shop's very important here so we'll be looking for that i need to be way more careful about how i approach situations with this character i'm going after the money way too much The money's good and all, but survival is probably the most important thing here. That was an amazing bomb thrower there. Was not expecting that to work. Unfortunately, didn't really help us all that much, but still. Anyways, let's keep it moving and grooving. I'm really hoping that we can get something uh, from the shop that's going to be quite defensible. Uh, I, I'm sort of trying to decide what that would be, to be honest. I don't even know really what a good defense item would be for us right now, but... I'm trying to think about it and trying to think of what would be a really good item for us to grab. Anything that's going to give us more money on the regular would be rather nice. Okay, that was very stupid of me. Oh, dude, the money this floor has been great so far, which is very nice. Makes me quite happy. <clears throat> right, what we got going on in here? Okay. This is very, very good. Um, someone actually pointed out to me in a previous episode how insanely good Brick Figure is. So Brick Figure spawns a brick separate and four studs on a pickup. Pennies have a 20% chance to be converted into studs, but you can hold studs. Um, which basically means that we can hold studs here, look like this. For one, they activate on hit effects, which is useful. But the more important thing is that if we get down to low HP, there you go, there's a penny really 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 good in terms of their uh, safety so feeling very very good after just that um scissors unfortunately isn't worth anything to us uh yeah i think i think this is good i think this is good uh we just gotta be careful but we've got three studs in our pocket and basically i don't know if it's actually going to replace the ones that come out of enemies or just replace the regular ones okay we do have unfortunately tech pin which is a little more difficult than regular Little more difficult. Although I wouldn't say I wouldn't say massively so. You just gotta kind of play him correctly. So like this situation here, there you go. Caught myself out in a bad situation there, so I was able to spawn in a penny and fix it. There you go, and we get a good item as well here. Yeah, I don't know if the uh, if the uh, studs, sorry, if the pennies that drop from enemies can spawn as studs. But now, getting an on-hit effect would be really good. Um, but also, yeah, we've just put ourselves in a really good spot here for... Um... Oh, Sticky Nickel, how dare you. How dare you, game. Um, yeah, in general, really good to have a, a way to, to pocket some money and grab it. I actually don't think that studs are going to be able to spawn off of the ones that we uh, get for killing enemies. The pennies that we get for killing enemies. I don't know if that's going to work. But we can hope. We can hope. I'm going to kill this guy first. He's been well annoying. Oh, God. There you go. It's very nice. I guess I'll take that. Let's check this out. Dude, our item rooms so far... Luckily, our items don't matter all that much, but they've not been good. 
Unfortunately, this is kind of a bad room, to be honest, because uh, these enemies are going to be hard to get the pennies from. Freeze all enemies in the room. Didn't actually expect it to work that way with the money there. Probably wouldn't have done that if I'd have known that. <clears throat> yeah, got one more stud left. It does, it does look like it can't replace the ones on the floor, which isn't as good as I would have thought, but it's still good. We'll take that. I'll probably take the corpse flower as well once I, I get enough money for it. Hmm. The best way to, to, to go about this. I'm probably going to miss out on quite a bit of pennies here, I think. I just kind of have to let it happen, don't I? There you go. Okay. Right. I'm probably going to go angel deal here. Give me good old corpse flower. Some good stuff so far. Good stuff so far. Yeah, definitely a risky, bisky little fella. The good thing is, like I said, the money that drops up from regular sources can still have the chance to turn to studs. So the more of that we can get, the better. That wasn't good, was it? Fly. And I think you know that. Ho ho ho! Beautiful, getting a dime. I don't give a damn, bitch, I'm still a high roller. I didn't actually expect him to drop a penny there, but there you go. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's keep it moving into the next room. And yeah, let's let's see what we can get going on. Happy to be back doing some more Isaac again. It's just, it just is such a constant in my life now that it feels so like, I don't know, it feels so, I wouldn't say chill, but like it feels so right to be recording Isaac. It feels so right. I really like Corpse Flower as well here. Long, having the, the ability to apply long poison is just nice, but it being able to generate flies for us is, is really good. Ooh, ooh. Intriguing. Gulp the held trinket. It's not a great trinket is the only thing. Uh, we can buy trinkets, so I'm just going to check my shop to see if I didn't have any better trinkets in the shop. No, we didn't. I think I'm just going to go then. It's, 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 th 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 this wasn't a great floor, to be honest. I probably should look for secret room, though, to be fair. I've got bombs. Uh, I'm almost there, and I know where it is, but let's uh, let's do a proper check, shall we? Yeah, it's, it, it has to be here, doesn't it? Good. It was more money. Not going to turn my nose up at that. Right. Let's hope the next floors are better, because our item rooms haven't been great so far. Uh, I guess I could take Peeper's Eye. Um, it is a multiplier for our, for our eyes, so why not? It's not ideal, but it's a damage multiplier in one way, so it's something. It's something. Right. Let's go. Bottle of water, just, if we had a better trinket, I'd take it, but otherwise it's just not very good. Oh, damn, I just had a, I just made some pasta for my lunch, and I made it very garlicky, and it's, uh, it's doing me well, man. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy. <laughs> um... On Wound Beyond, replace all coin and key spawns. Oh, kind of interesting. Wow. Wow. Bombing open a chest to get literally a troll bomb and nothing else is insanely bad. I don't think I've ever had a chest to be that bad for. To be fair, this was a complete waste of resources. We got so little from this. Apart from money, obviously. We got some money, which is good, but goddamn. Overall, that was not exactly what we were looking for there, was it? Ooh, we got uh, Curse of Rebirth. Enemies can respawn, which is fantastic for us. Because it means that we can get double the amount of money. I, I never thought about how good Curse of Rebirth could be on this guy. Look at that. Double money. Double money, dude. We're rolling in it right now. All good? We all good? We're all good. Okay. Shoppeth, where art thou? Oh god, we've got to deal with these guys. Unfortunately, not much we can do to deal with these guys quickly. It just kind of is what it is. I'm not going to bother with the money here. Just let these guys do their thing. Good, good. Man, hey, 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 hey. Stop eating my pennies. Stop eating my pennies. Ooh, toy box, always a risk, but I love it. Pocket dice, overall very good. Forgotten Lullaby, good in the future. 
I think the, the, the dice thing is pretty good too. I don't know what it does. Strength badge is a plus one damage up. And the shampoo thing or whatever it is, toothpaste, I, I think is pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that makes it so that when the shampoos are like the thingy poos are more common, the blue ones, but they also have better drops, which I don't think affects us because I think their drops are, uh, their drops are usually soul hearts, which obviously isn't great. That's very good for us. Nice, nice. Still yet to see any more studs, so I'm a little bit disappointed that um, this item hasn't been what I wanted it to be. But yeah, once our tears travel a certain distance, they gain, um, they gain piercing and spectral. Very nice. Yeah, there's a shampoo there, look. And here is our shop. Ooh, here it is again. Fruit milk is what it's called, from something wicked. Each one of Isaac's tears gets four different effects. Yeah, this thing is insanely fun. Last time I got this, I really liked it. Um. Yes. Yes. And yes. Fruit milk is, is absolutely top tier. I love it. It's, it's a massive damage down. But you just get so many tier effects that it's it's well worth it. It's basically like fruitcake, but a little bit better. <laughs> or at least I think it's a little bit better than fruitcake. Because in general, you're getting more effects per. And those effects can do some wild stuff. Also, Sackhead here is kind of nice. We like that. And yeah, who cares about your damage when you can insta-kill enemies with euthanasia tears and stuff? Okay, bad boss, unfortunately. Luckily, we killed him with ease. Unfortunately, little Chad does nothing for us, but we got a lot out of this floor. Fruit milk, my favorite item in any... Like, I genuinely think, so, um, I, I I know the person that makes something wicked through my Discord, I've known them for quite a long time, and I genuinely think they may have made fruit milk with me in mind, because they, they know how much I love tier effects, and they know how much I love something wicked as a mod, so my god. Oh, planetarium? Hell yeah. Wasn't expecting that. But yeah, fruit milk, tippity top tier. <laughs> Very, very, very good uh, tier effect to get here. Okay, let's let's pop a stud down because I'm feeling a bit risky. I got another stud though, so out of somewhere. Algiers. That gives us a holy mantle though. Oh no! Oh no! No, we still got the holy mantle. Nice. Now, now is why uh, the only thing I need is more fire it. Unfortunately, didn't actually get to have any of that money, but look how much money that spawned. Studs for days, baby. There's so much money over there that I can't get. <clears throat> yeah, never... Even though this item's overpowered, I'd say never change it. I would maybe suggest upping its quality. I think it's quality 3. It might be quality 2. I didn't actually have a good look. But I would maybe suggest upping its quality by 1, whatever it is. But it's, it's very good. <laughs> Do not change it. I love it. God damn. Yeah, having all these studs now. Yeah, so because we have these Midas touch effects, we're, we're getting pennies way more regularly. There's our shop again. Some good stuff. We got Chaos. I mean, Mask of Infamy we have to take, because uh, it's just incredible. Binky, I need the tier it. Chaos, I'd love, but we're gonna have to see if we can get it. Um, those other ones were just more important at the time. Only thing about this is we are killing enemies from like a distance a lot of the time, which means we're not always gonna get the pennies. I don't even know what hit me there. Okay, we got we got enough to get chaos. Let's let's go grab. Actually, let's let's try and get our angel deal first, shall we? Seems like a good idea. Try and get our angel deal first. Yeah. 
don't even know what's going on right now. No angel deal. Um, yes, I'll take that. Mainly for the speed up, to be honest. Yeah, we've got enough for chaos now. Let's grab that. Still don't have an on damaging effect though, do we? Mask of Infamy is a good grab as well here. Right, yeah. Chaos. Chaos can get real wacky, real weird, so I do quite like it. We'll see if it ends up being beneficial or not. Sometimes it's one of those items that can be pretty bad. Most times it's pretty good. <laughs> Vast majority of the time it's a good grab. I'm still a little worried with this running in like as a whole. I feel like it's pretty easy for us to accidentally take damage. I just got to be really hot on the trigger with my studs. Now, when it comes to using my studs, I've got to be really hot on the trigger to make sure I use them in time. Hello? I can't remember how this room works. I'm pretty sure it deals damage to me, though, and I'm kind of scared about that. I put a stud on the floor, then use it. Hmm. It didn't do anything. I'm not going to mess around with something I don't understand. Seems like a recipe for disaster. Ah, If it turns enemy into poop, they don't drop any money. That's kind of evil. But I want the money. I really like Gideon's gears as well. Oh, 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 oh. Aww, it's behind a gap. God damn it. Right, Chaos, what did you do for me today? I saw it's kind of interesting. Spawns a Doppel as a second character. Doppel has a random... Oh, okay, that's that's an active item. It's still kind of interesting, though. I kind of like the way Giant Cell and Eyesaw look very, very similar. I think I'm going to take Eyesaw, to be fair. Mortius Fired is just good. God damn, yeah, I'm so, I feel so garlicky right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, I'm confused about how I'm meant to do this. Dude, I, this, this is well confusing. Fucking go away. Right. How exactly am I meant to do this room? Do you know what? I'm meant to do it by fucking not doing it. Go away. <laughs> I do not like that room. Please don't make me go through it. Now that's the shit you want to see. That's the shit you want to see right there. Sackhead's pretty good alongside all of this as well. Good old golden penny in there too. And we got doubles the number of bombs. Lovely. Yeah, that was a much quicker room this time round. Tool is lovely. We'll take tool. Unfortunately, I am going to have to do that room. I'll be honest, I just do not understand how I'm meant to do it. <laughs> it's really confusing me. Right. I think I've got to stand here. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. That was, that was horrible, I hated that. The timing of it just really confused me. I think that was actually super basic to understand, I'm just an idiot. The holy mantle is very nice to have, thank you. Literally no idea what's going on right now. I lost my holy mantle very quickly there. Do not know how or why. And what we got going on in here? Glitter bombs, one. Why not? Right. Away we go. The only thing is, yeah, this, this, this it seems like this item could end up killing me at some point, so I gotta be really careful. Also, it did crash my game last time. I, for, I kind of forgot about that when I took it. We got a spin down there. 
I need to keep my studs on me, unfortunately, so I'll have to come back for the spin down when I actually want to use it. This broom always gives me errors. Uh, that didn't do anything, because the item wasn't purchased. Oops. Right, back we go. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I, I think this item crashed my game last time, the fruit milk, so we'll have to see if that happens again. Yeah. Also, th this stuff happens every now and again, where it just kind of goes wild and creates like an infinite loop. Not ideal. Okay. A Roboros worm? That could be pretty wacky. Could be pretty wacky. Whole load of nothing in there. Look penny nice. Okay. Okay. Shop, where are you? I am lost and I need my shop. I'm not able to grab as much money as I'd, I'd hoped for, to be honest. Hoping to be able to get more money, but it's a little tough. Also, we're getting all the sacks rather than money in a lot of cases. Secret room there, wasn't expecting that. Can't do anything with that though. Oh, fuck you, man. Not on this character. It's just, it's just evil. What am I meant to do my spin down now? I'm probably going to leave my spin down, to be honest. It sounds sad, I know, but the studs are just so goddamn useful as a just-in-case button if I hit myself or if I get hit. I'd rather have that. I'd love to work with that, but it's just too risky. Right. <clears throat> I should probably plop one down as a, like, just in case. Just in a random area of the room. Angel deal, lovely. Look how many sacks there are. It's wild, man. It's wild. I have six studs at once. Nice. Um, I mean, that's kind of good. Shop items can be purchased even as unaffordable. Triple shot could be fun. Crooked penny could be fun. But I think we're just going to take our leave. Oh my god. I'm stressed. I'm very stressed. This is this character is fun, but goddamn, I'm worried. Why would you teleport him to the other side of the goddamn room? See, that's a situation in which I was scared. Like, I, I, I'm having certain tear effects that just hit me with explosions every now and again. And I've basically got to realise and use my stud before shit hits the fan. And I'm sure at some point shit will hit the fan and we really don't want it to. What on earth is that? <laughs> what the fuck did I just fire? And every now and again, get, it goes crazy. I think at this point we don't really need the money anymore, so... Yeah, just certain times the tears just go absolutely fucking buck wild. Yeah, hopefully it's the right way this time. 
my god. Gideon's gaze saves me so much hassle. Um... Okay, thank god that guy dies, because I moved him in front of the way of the door, which is really not meant to happen. That was close. Dude, this is why we need the studs, baby. That was very close. This item is sketchy as all hell, but I, I'm into it. Tower of Babel. It's actually pretty decent. Oh my god. I'm on edge. Very on edge. Good? No, we're not we're not finished with the room yet. Now we are. We did find a secret room out of this though. Nice amount of flies. Picking up no hearts on the floor will grant you full health. I mean, that's. We don't pick up hearts, so that's pretty good for us. We should probably look in that arcade in case there's a crane game. We'll be able to make good use of a crane game. You're not dead yet? What the hell? <clears throat> I can play you at least. I can play all of these, to be fair. What are you going to give us? Lots of dollars. Any bomb items there? No. Man, these guys are shit. <laughs> it's a terrible... Wow. Instantly paid out. God damn, that wasn't very good at all. Yeah, I don't even know where I want to be standing. I think I'm just at the whim of the game on this run, pretty much. I don't want to be standing near rocks, I know that for a fact. But I think a lot of it is just up to what whatever the game wants to do to me is going to happen. The teleporting enemies isn't good. Oh god. A little bit sketchy, but I made it. Yeah, boss time. Drop a stud down. Unfortunately, we're sucking them all in there, so... Yeah, you're entering second phase now. Second phase is kind of fine, I think. Although, what on earth have you done there? Thank you for saving me there, game. Dude, I got saved twice in a row there. That was very lucky. I didn't really think about bosses and sucking all the coins, though. Right. Ho oh, ho! Twisted pear! Yes, although that does mean more tears, which is a little bit scary. More tears isn't particularly a good thing for us. <laughs> Let's be honest. But it does mean we're gonna kill stuff quicker. That that is that is a sure thing. Lego stud. That means that the chances of exploding ourselves have increased three times. So yeah. Ooh, one minute. Do that. Drop my studs. One second. Drop my studs in here a sec. Don't really need the bombs. I don't really even know why I did that, but it's done. Alright. <sighs> Black sack. Yeah, I'm just scared I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> oh, 
Good thing his mushrooms are pretty much ending themselves. I can't believe the uh, that Sackhead allows you to get all the other types of sacks, including the card one. That's like the super rare card one. Like that's so strong. I don't really know what's going on in this room. Is it done? No. Okay. Bit wild. Good thing is the boss rooms don't have rocks in them and rocks seem to be the biggest pain point for us. Makes this room a lot easier. Good. Oh man, this is so sketchy. We don't have any curses on us. As a stud, we'll take that as an extra stud, thank you. Right. Drop a few studs around. It's, for me at the minute, the, the problem is, we can't fucking see anything. And it sucks all the goddamn coins we create into the fucking enemy's chest. So we've got to, we basically got to use our iframes to walk into him in order to heal. I don't even know what to say about what's going on right now. I mean, there's pen the good thing is there's pennies everywhere. We get him? We got him. Oh, God. Okay. I'm, I'm not too worried about the boss with the amount of coins we can create. I'm just worried about getting there. Nine lives is interesting. I don't know about nine lives. Because, like, on the one half, yeah, nine lives is pretty goddamn good, but it'll put us down to one HP. Which I think would be worse overall. I think nine lives would would, would have been a bad idea there. Just ju just because we've got the ability to generate money and studs, I think it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to to get rid of the ability to heal and have only nine chances. If there was a HP up somewhere and we could work with that, then yeah, it's fine. But we don't. I'll turn those guys into red poops. Never seen that before. It's weird. Oh god, I didn't actually mean to do that. I just wanted to stun everything. I forgot it destroyed all the rocks too. That was wild. Yeah, rocks, rocks are our enemy. Stay away from the rocks. Sometimes this happens too, where the, ga the game just goes fucking crazy. Oh, hive mind's very good for us here. Okay. Hey, we went the right way at least. That's good. Okay, boss time. We've already spawned some money. Good. We should be really on it about collecting money if we get hit. There's money everywhere. We've got to collect it all. Okay. Last, last little bit here. This is actually one of the best attacks he could have done for us here, because we can stay out the way of it pretty easily. I say that and immediately get fucking shit on. Right, we're good. Holy shit, that was a really stressful run caused by a really fun item. Hope you guys enjoyed that one, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.